duty responsibility and connectivity three words at one level there is something called duty at another level there is something called responsibility at some other level there is something called connectivity so one has to work continuously continuously at these three levels duty responsibility and connectivity when we start realizing these three dimensions then all through your life you will have the enthusiasm to work otherwise constantly we go through the problems in the duty we are failing miserably this is the source of your irritation and this is the block in your sadhana many people they are not able to do sadhana they always complain because they are not performing the duty are you are seeing the beauty of it hmm? ask yourself how are you performing your duty as a burden as a compulsion or as a worship how are you doing it and while performing your duty are you giving your complete feeling to it without expecting without expecting so the first level of living first level of living can i make myself comfortable at the duty level not adding too many things but with all detached feeling with great concern and joy let me perform my duty duty not as a burden duty not as an attachment duty not as an expectation but duty as duty duty as duty if we start going deep inside we realize that our meditation is not happening beautifully because i am failing in my duty then what is the second level of understanding responsibility what is responsibility responsibility about your own self that is the second level where you have to work what does it mean lord has given an organization to you nothing to do with the outside world nothing to do with even the relatives or the relationship it is you and the organization you have a body you have a mind you have an intellect you have an ego you have all these faculties all these faculties what is your responsibility responsibility is how i can make these faculties healthy efficient and very very capable to bring the integrity deep within this is your second responsibility if you have to do asana you have to do asana you have to go for walk you have to go for walk 
If you have to follow the diet, you have to follow the diet. If you have to sleep only for three hours, you have to sleep only for three hours. But what are we doing with this responsibility? Most of the time highly irresponsible. We make the commitment and we break the commitment. We make the sankalpa and we break the sankalpa, continuously creating guilt deep within. I want to do this, I can't do that. Please see this. So the second level is the responsibility. What is the responsibility towards your own self? Don't throw this on Guru or God or something. That's why I'm constantly, I'm constantly putting God out of the picture. We are using God in a very ugly way. We are all becoming irresponsible in the name of God. The whole society is suffering because of the placement of God. For everything, oh, Devi is there, she will take care of it. That is there, that takes care of it, this takes care of it. Then what are you doing? Why Devi has to take care of your nonsense? Please ask this question. Why Devi has to take care of your nonsense? Why Guru has to take care of your uh, casualness? Why? Please see this. I create my own disease because of all nonsense and I tell my Guru will take care of me. My responsibility is how I can prepare every dimension of my being to tune to the inner call, inner call. So I have a greater responsibility. I have the body, I have to take care of the body. I have to work in such a way that I don't let this body to depend upon anything else. It is going to depend upon its own self. So if the body is having, if body is heavy, I work, I see to it, I reduce the body weight. If the body is losing its energy, I work and I bring back that energy. If the backache is developing, I attend to that backache. I don't ignore, I don't neglect. In the duty, it is not according to your choice, it is according to what is to be done. In responsibility, every action you do has to be connected with the purpose. That is responsibility. And the responsibility is purely for your own organization, like your body, your mind, your samskaras, your vasanas, your habits, your emotions, your ideas, your experiences. Here you have the freedom to mould. In the duty you don't have the freedom. You have to understand this difference. Duty. There is no freedom. Here you have the freedom. You can break an attitude, you have the freedom. You can make an attitude, you have the freedom. But there, no freedom. You got. Here, you have tremendous freedom to mould the entire organization so that it becomes an integrated energy field. Now what is the third dimension? Why I have to use this responsibility? Responsibility, duty is going to give me the space for responsibility. Responsibility is going to prepare me to connect with the divinity. 
so if you are responsible you enjoy the grace and you realize every second grace is with you you have to only connect so the connectivity has to happen for the connectivity to happen the responsibility is a must for the responsibility duty is but what we do we don't perform the duty we don't attend to the responsibilities we want only connectivity so what is to be done what is to be done develop the deservedness so that you are going to catch guru's attention kaise karna work at these three levels this is the message of this cap this is the message 